You know what time it is? I heard somewhere on the internet. It's time to slay the spire. Shazam. Uh, so I think we were just about to go into Act 2. Looking at things, I'd say yes. Ooh. Oh, baby. We cut it close. That's fine. Last HP. Last hit point is the only hit point that matters. Except that's not entirely true in this game because your hit points carry over between fights. Yeah. <clears throat> hey there, Liv. Hi. How's it going? The big boy himself, Mr. McSlappy Pants, the champ, Big Man Tyrone, as some call him. Uh, what is our deck? What is our deck? I don't think we have any synergies. We got a pantograph. Man, we had a- we went into that fight, I think we napped and then got pantograph healing and like still went down to 1 HP. That's rough. I think we fought the Guardian? Oh yeah, I can see why. This deck is bad. This deck is bad. Fuck. I was thinking about the silent last night, and it's like... Because it's not just me. I've looked at statistics and stuff, and it seems like the silent is the lowest win rate, the most difficult character in the game. And, like, just looking at it... It's... It's- I think it's pretty simple why. It's because her deck requires... You have to hit like a threshold of synergies in her deck in order to make it work. Like, per, base, almost all of her cards on their own are just bad. <laughs> like, you compare them to like, yeah, they're better than basic cards, but... <clears throat> you compare them to like, other cards that the other classes have, and it's just like, fuck, man. These cards are terrible. Prismatic? The Prismatic thing might be better on Silent than any other class, just because you get better fucking cards. <clears throat> it's like, Poison Stab... is... not great, unless you have a ton of other poison. And then it's pretty good. <clears throat> but you compare it to something like... Ball lightning! Holy fuck. Sorry, I ordered pizza today, so like, my whole... chest and throat is like, super congested. <sighs> like, you compare it to ball lightning, which admittedly is a pretty high bar. <laughs> that's, a, that's a great emote, live high. Um... And it's like... Ball Lightning beats this in damage. The turn you play it, it like, like, Ball Lightning always does more damage than Poison Stab. Literally always. Yeah. Well, okay, that's not true. Technically, if you already have a bunch of poison on it, this basically gives you three extra damage per turn. Because, like, say they already had seven poison on them. You hit them, this goes up to 10. So for the next three turns, they would have taken 7 poison damage, then 6 poison damage, then 5 poison damage. Whereas now, they're taking 10 plus 9 plus 8. So you're getting plus 3 on all of those turns. So in that case, it's... Uh, it's, it's still 1 damage less than Ball Lightning. You get the added benefit of the poison goes where you want it, but that's balanced out by the fact that artifacts just like... You just go, eh. Uh, and, again, they already have to be poisoned. And it's not like there aren't synergies with Ball Lightning, and there's also the fact that you can rotate it um, to get a bigger burst out of it. Yeah, it's like you can't just, like, grab... Because I've had, I've had silent runs where it's like you're not... Or not silent... Uh, like, on stream, I've had high ascension defect runs where it's like, you just don't get the stuff to make the orb plan work. And you just take a lot of high quality, high value cards. And you just, like, outvalue your opponent. Because your cards, by themselves, in isolation, are good. And it's like... <sighs> I really shouldn't have taken this acrobatics. It's like, acrobatics is so bad by itself. You like, you like, need 
some of Silent's um, energy generation to really make use of acrobatics, and then you have to draw them all at the right time. And it's like if you don't do if you don't get the synergies in the deck and you don't draw them together at the right time, you just like explode if you try that plan. You get slapped. Anyway, how are we feeling about elites? Probably bad. It's like, this is bad. This is only decent in the slaver fight. This is not very good. I guess, I guess it can wipe out, like, all the gremlins that are on the field in the gremlin leader fight, but that's not super great. Yeah, and then obviously it's no good against Stab Hands, because, well, there's only one dude. So, let's see how we dodge elites. That way. Oh, one bonfire. One bonfire, one shop. You only get one chance. Do we fight an elite to get a second bonfire? Hey, I died. Corpse Explosion isn't that bad, it's just not good in this deck. A bunch of question marks and then just like have our faces caved in we, we gotta go for elites and hope we get some like mega mega synergy otherwise we're just not gonna beat the champ we're just not going to he's just going to win all right let's see what we got that his shield breaks before he hits me. Mm. Yeah. Bleh. Bleh. Fuck. Okay. Yeah, some more sources of weak would be nice. This frail sucks. Sure. Making him take a lot of damage from his own hits, which is nice. Cool. Alright, we should have it. We took what, like, 10 damage, though, so, so I need, like, 21 damage, uh, no, he's already got 3, so I need 18 damage, I just did 4, hold up, I need 14 damage, so there's 12, plus 6, hooray, he died, thanks, corpse explosion, <laughs> yeah, that seems like a good card, it's like, dash is a good card, that's a card that, like, actually stands up on its own, How are we doing with block cards? We don't have that many. Not that many good ones either, so yeah, I think Dash is a particularly good pickup here. Uh, I'm gonna upgrade. <laughs> that, that increases our chances quite a bit. <laughs> Fuck, I really wanted some poison stuff. We're not getting any more money because of ectoplasm. We're also not seeing a shop in this act outside of this one. It does 14 damage to one enemy. Is that that good? Uh, not really. Do we just try to force poison? Impatience seems 
pretty good, actually. I have no attacks. It costs zero. So I just play my attacks, then play Impatience. Seems to work particularly good with Concentrate. You can discard attacks. I'm gonna... I... Oh, hey, there's a Sucker Punch here. I never even noticed. I, I think I'm gonna have to... I think I'm going to have to, like, actually level up my game with Silent if we're gonna... Like, we could just get lucky. We just could, could just, like, keep throwing ourselves the fucking wall until we just, like, get a run where we have, like, two footworks by the time we start Act 2 and just, like, snowball upwards from there. Um, or I could try, like, actually playing with a lot of these weird cards that I have no idea what to do with because I don't... There, there's almost no card in the game that's, like, absolutely terra bad. I'm having trouble thinking of any off the top of my head. There's like the, uh, the, the drop kick and the other one. The one that needs your opponent to either be weak or vulnerable to be any good. That's like super situational. But it's like, okay, how many attacks are in this deck? Seven, eight, nine, ten. Ten out of twenty-one, so quite a few. Hmm. Especially considering one of the card- two of the cards in the deck go away, so then it becomes 10 out of 19. <laughs> Hello World is pretty bad. I did say almost. I said almost. I don't want to... Problem is, I don't want my deck to be too thin on block. It's like concentrate and impatience and acrobatics can all work together really well. Do I take out maneuver instead? And just try to get more card draw? Because I've got, I've suddenly got like some decent card draw and out maneuvers on sale. Yeah, I don't- I don't think I can... Did I just remove a dagger throw at this point? I don't know if I want to be discarding that many more cards. We don't have any discard synergies currently. Although it does let me get rid of an attack so I can draw more cards with impatience. Hmm... I'd really like that concentrate, but we need we need more block. We need more block cards. Okay, so I can like do this baloney. Be like, oh man, I don't need to block. Whoop whoop. Okay. I feel like I could do some really obnoxious stuff with Runic Pyramid on silent a lot of the time. Well, I have more energy than I could possibly use. Never mind. I have exactly as much energy as I could possibly use. Good news here is um, we've gotten rid of all of his artifacts already. Yeah, that worked out pretty well. Yeah, I think I think the plan is to dig. I think we dig. This is a digging game now. We're playing Minecraft. No, I think dealing 9 damage is fine. Is there a point to digging? There's neutralize, there's slice. Slamming. Perfect. That works mysteriously well. Yeah, this one. Or no, 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 not this one. Uh, 
I got some thinking in my brain. Hmm. If I had concentrate, we could build a. D oh man. Okay. Okay. It's probably too late for this run, but I'm starting to like piece things together in my brain for just like a different way to put silent together and to to try to try and increase our win rate to any to to a non-zero percent for Ascension 19. It's like with a lot of cards drawn, like outmaneuvers and the uh, concentration and stuff. Like eviscerate becomes way better. <laughs> I am adapting. I'm learning. I'm, I'm a mimetic polyalloy. A learning machine. I don't know how good dodge and roll is here. I'm gonna try it. <laughs> Map 1000, yep. The M1000. Alright, so I just need to beat the shit out of dudes here. Mmm, that's a pretty good one. Oh, I died with poo pooing corpse explosion. Watch this shit. He's gonna die and he's gonna take down his fucking friends with him. Or at least close enough. Um. Mm, mm. Oh, I've got nothing else to spend this energy on. Try to get him very, very dead if I can. Oh, actually, yeah, they will all die because I uh, did the. Blady blade. Boom! Corpse explosion. Boom, 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 his corpse exploded, they all died, and I won. Noxious fumes makes corpse explosion much better. Fuck! I was thinking about that Sneko skull. That whole time, I was thinking about it. I was thinking about it. I was like, do we really want to go poison? What if I don't get poison? Poison, 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 poison. Shit. Okay, we gotta fight some big dudes here. I am drinking both of these. Because I am afraid. I am afraid of the future. I'm afraid of the past. Oh, I really don't want to see Corpse Explosion right here. Right here, right now. I kind of would like to block a bunch. Um, let's see, I've got 14. Take 20. 20. Deal 6, then 5, then 4. Blah, 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 blah. I'll go down to 29. Then it'll go down to 24. What are the chances of me being able to deal 24 damage to the next turn? Not super good, unless I get to like eviscerate for one. And besides, it, yeah, it makes the rest of the fight like really easy, but the rest of the fight is already the easier part of the fight, so... I'm gonna be as safe as possible. We're gonna take, what, four damage here? Yeah. Well, that ain't happening. Um, actually, it could. I did not poison him. Hey! Enkumengokan, how's it going? I gotta eviscerate because I'm trying shit. Because I have to try shit. Because this game gets so goddamn hard. <laughs> this high. Like, I can't just, like, ignore cards. I can't afford to just ignore cards because I don't know how to use them at this point. So, that's why I bought Outmaneuver and Impatience. And that's why we have a Corpse Explosion and an Eviscerate, because I gotta... I gotta figure out how to make these cards work. I gotta figure out... Because there's... I don't believe that there are si there are no situations where these cards are good. So I have to figure out... Like, how much discard does it take before this card becomes good? What do you mean I have no discard? I have... Duh... Duh... Buh... And I also have, like, a decent amount of card draw, which draws into cards that discard. So, like, it it kind of works into itself. I was thinking of grabbing a Concentration, but I didn't end up grabbing it. Had I known I was going to see this, I would have grabbed it. At least a few prepared plus. Well, I, I kind of made this decision on, on the spur of the moment to just see. 
It would have been better had I started the run with this stuff in mind. Anyway, what are we getting rid of? Um... Hold up, how much damage is this? That's lethal. Do this first. Hold up, six. That's eleven, so that's lethal. Shit. God damn it, don't you hate it when you can just play every card in your hand? But they don't let you. That actually does more damage over several turns than that does. Do I value prepareds right now? If I saw prepared plus, I'd probably grab it? I don't know if I would grab an unupgraded prepared. So just fucking play it. A bit lower? Oh, just so you can see the, uh... Yeah, that makes sense. <laughs> that makes sense. You can see the seed and the version and the, uh... The info. Um... Hmm... Hold up. Sorry, I'm like, I'm tired as fuck. Uh, okay. I need to make my brain work again. So, that's 8, 16. I have a bajillion energy. Let's backflip. Yeah, Eviscerate's not gonna do a goddamn thing here. It does do 18 damage. Hmm. Hmm, shit. Ooh, hold up. Okay. I was like, am I about to die? And I'm not. I might be now, though. Woof. 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 Yeesh. Okay. Oh. I had lethal. I didn't need to take that extra three damage. Whew. I gotta take the other dash. And hope it. Mm, mm. Sucker Punch isn't bad. I would have liked one of the dashes getting hit. Which is kind of why I took the second one to try to increase the chances. Alright, well, we have three health. I went this way specifically so I could get an extra bonfire. Yeah, you do gotta be sneaky. Okay, so I can knock this asshole down. Should I play Impatience? Cool. The answer was no. No, I shouldn't. <laughs> um, I can kill him. I don't want to look at more cards. Alright, well... That daze wasn't really worth it. Hmm, a little late for Corpse Explosion. I think Corpse Explosion here has the same issue that Terror does. In that, if you draw it really late, after you're kind of already done dealing with shit, it's not very good. It's like, Terror is great in, like, single... T like, Terror is great against Stab Hand. You know, if it's especially upgraded terror, like upgraded terror, opening hand, stab hand is just like, yeah, there are a few cards I'd want to see more than terror in opening hand as silent. Well, I guess you'd have to be silent to have terror most of the time. But it's like, I've, I've had plenty of times where it's just like terror sitting on the bottom of the fucking deck and you're like, cool, he has like 38 health left. I'm glad I put terror in my deck. I kind of wish it was like eight block instead. 
since the amount of extra damage it adds is pretty negligible at that point. You're hitting me a whole lot really hard, and I don't much care for it. Sneaky with Sneaky Strike, yeah, yeah. Thank god I upgraded those defends. God, I'd be so fucking dead right now. Yeah, this Eviscerate is... is making me frown. It's putting me in the sad zone. Thank god he hasn't made me vulnerable yet. Still hitting me for, like, a bunch. Yikes. Well, we're almost dead again. No meat bonus today. Okay. We'll just skip those. Ooh, excuse me. Oh, yeah. Uh, do that one. <laughs> I almost fucked myself. I'll take a dodge and roll plus. We do need more block cards. Like, badly. We are not gonna make it to that bonfire. <laughs> We're gonna get chunked in the junk, and it's gonna make me sad. How outmaneuver do I feel? Yeah, I need to just play more with like cards like this to just see, get a feel for like how many is too many, like what kind, what a good ratio is, and then you just just pray you don't fight fucking woke boy or not woke boy, Slurms McKenzie. Uh, another two turns a week. Probably gets them all the way. Then some quests home. What's the French call it? Neat. Not neat enough. What what is the upgrade on Eviscerate? Damn. I was hoping it would make it cost three. Okay. Well, that would kill the shit out of both of them. Wow, you can play it even if you have attacks in hand. Maximum mistake make. And that's the problem with acrobatics, is it costs one energy. And you're just like, well, fuck. That leaves me less energy to block with. Ah, uh, Yeah, I kinda gotta. Hold up. 26 damage. I have to block at least 23 of it. Hmm. 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 A GG! Yeah, I, I didn't think we were gonna make it to the champ. Not with me, like. Cranking the wheel the other way, partway through Act 2. <sighs> okay. Alright. We gotta keep our mind open. Our brain ready. This is, this is our brain ready to grab ideas right here. Ready to grab. They might be bad ideas, and then we let them go, but you gotta grab them first. I think a random common relic's probably better than a random rare card. Rare relic. Mmm, that's 6 max HP matters. I think I'll take the common. Okay, okay, so we want to alpha strike. So we want some backstabs. Real bad. So, we go like... Fireman, fireman. I guess that's okay. Fireman, man, fireman is mm, less so. Yeah, there's a shop there. 
fireman, fireman. Far out. Cool. Right. One. Jaw boy. I think I have to take the extra three damage here. As in, like, take the opportunity to deal the extra three damage. Exchange for two of my own health. Having that neutralize in last hand would have been really good, but... It happens. It happens. It goes to five. Yep. Perfect. I was like 18 damage. If I draw three strikes, I win. And then I drew three strikes and I won. One lonesome bird boy who gets many stabbings. Yeesh. I should have thought of that. Dagger spray actually does more damage. No, no, it doesn't. I actually do the same damage with vulnerable to a single target. And then on the second turn, poison stab outperforms it. Okay, it's down to 10, down to 8. Perfect. Flying these pretty good. These are both like premium dodge cards though. Opt and roll just has a lot of numbers on it. And numbers are strong in this game. This is a game where numbers... You can win from numbers. So, that kills him. He dead. Very nice. This bag of marbles is making Act 1... Quite simple. So far. Okay. The problem with these cards is like they don't oh well they don't do anything by themselves. This is like what I mean. It's like it, it's like these cards literally don't do anything unless you throw them the fuck away. And in a lot of situations that's bad. <laughs> the, the rules are made up and the numbers don't matter. Precisely. Grab another poison stab. We've got some synergy. Our deck has some some very slight synergy with itself now. I think that is worth. I think that's worth. Keep the balance. The balance of the force. He's gonna make me frail, and he has less HP. But he's gonna run away with all my fucking money. And there's a shop. It's S H O P P E shop. Shit. Oh. I really want to stab him. I really want to show him my stabs. I also really don't want to take a bunch of damage. Back. Back. Wow, really? You're both just, uh, going completely fucking ham here. Oh, fuck it. It's stab time. It's stab time. We're going to stab town. Population, my knife in your faces. And this is still an annoying hand. Ugh. Okay, so I'm gonna get my money back. Mmm. Gross. I took one damage. I took a lot of damage this fight for that cash. Maybe it was inadvisable. Maybe. We don't have any potions. That's... that's gonna matter. For this elite coming up. I think if we still have like mid to high 20s in health, I think I'm just gonna upgrade. 
That's a potion. I can value the cloak and dagger here. It's more block. It does one more block and four more damage than backflip does. Upgrade the neuter. Yeah, I have to become like maximally discerning to get anywhere with the silent. Sorry, I just bunched the microphone with my finger there. Oh boy. Uh, well, this isn't hard. I obviously kill the louse first. You both buff. Uh, the bad news is I can't kill him all at once. And also, this hand isn't super great. I do get to dodge and roll for next turn, which is nice. Alright, I was gonna play the other defend, and it's like, ah! Dodge and roll, dodge and roll just got a six extra damage. Perfect. Oh, he's dead. He's really dead. He's the deadest dude. See you later, Ratman. The thing is, is outmaneuver... Outmaneuver is easier to play the more energy you already have. It's hard to justify without a lot of card. It's... Uh... Alright, well, let's think about it this way. Say I draw out Maneuver. And I really, really don't want to play that turn. I already can't play every card in my hand. So having an out Maneuver isn't that bad. Unless I've got, like, unless my hand is, like, three dazes. A, sh a strike and out Maneuver, and I really need to block. Um, like, I just, I just don't play it. So it, it lets us capitalize on rare opportunities, I suppose. I'm gonna try it. I'm gonna try it. I'm gonna try it. We might not see the other cards that make it work well. It's also probably not great in this fight. Yikes. Okay, getting six poison on turn one is pretty handy. Yeah, we, we just like don't outmaneuver at all in this fight. We're just like, nah, 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 nah. Nah, 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 nah. Because all it's going to do is give us more energy to play more skills to make him angrier. Not worth. Not worth. Thank you, Neutralize. You're my friend. You're my friend. Shh. Shit! I was like, alright, now I just need like like two poison stabs or like a poison stab and a strike and like a cloak and dagger or fucking anything. And I draw five skills. Count them one, two, three, four, five. I don't think I can win. Um I think I just lost the fucking run. Yeah, he's doing 21 damage there, so if I, if I do this... 23 versus 24... Oh good! Oh good! I managed to make exactly lethal! Fuck. And then he clubbed my face with his fucking skeleton. Woo! Well, that was fast. Yeah, big oof. Yep, that's uh, that's playing the silent. Gremlin Knob just just comes up and he's like, "Hey, how's it going, guys?" He's the fucking what is it, Jeremy? Faster the death, the faster the next run. That's true. But it's it's uh, it's Jeremy. No, Gerald, Jerry, from Undertale. That one monster that like takes forever to kill 
and that like nobody likes or to have around. That's Gremlin Knob. Wow, these are bad. These are bad fucking options. Lord Almighty, what's the boss? Good ol' Blade Boy. Move a card. Man, if I could, like, have this relic and it didn't activate immediately and I could choose when to activate it so it would make the next three... Well, I guess, I guess that would be dumb, because it says enemies in your next three combats, which means you could use it for bosses. You use it in, in Ascension 20, right before, <laughs> right before, uh, the final double boss, and you're just like, yeah, they just have one health, they just have one health each. That would be too good. We'd have to exempt bosses. Okay. So we want to hit three fights if we can. Boom, boom, boom. Mm, not going that way. Man. Fire. Fire. It's not a great path. Okay, what about if we're not fighting two dudes? Fireman. Fire. Fireman. Man fire. Ooh, ooh, the show. No matter which of these two ways I go, I have to hit at least one shop. So I may as well get at least two fights in the first three rather than one. So fireman. Man fire. Or, if things are looking really bad, we can skip them. That seems reasonable. Hold up. I'm gonna look up the Silent Rare cards. Wow. Good job, Slay the Spire Wiki. Just lists them out. No image, no d thousand cuts. Adrenaline after him. I guess I know what most of these do, actually. Uh, okay, fine. Let's look at all of the silence cards. Go by rarity. So we're gonna see three of these. We've got Envenom, Doppelganger, Die 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 is a really good one to start. Corpse Explosion, Thousand Cuts, Alchemize, After Image, Adrenaline. Bullet Time might actually not be bad. Burst, Decimal Killer, Nightmare, Glass Knife. Storm of Steel, Grand Finale. Wow, they have not updated this wiki. It still lists Tactician as rare. Tools of the Trade's not bad. Unload's not bad. Even Wraith Form's not bad. So that's like 8 out of 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18. It's actually 9 out of 18. Uh, because while Tactician is not a rare, Malaise is. So, about half of them, I'd be pretty good to take. And this is a total crapshoot. Well, didn't see any of the ones that I'd be super cool with. I guess we take 1,000 cuts, it's going to hurt us really early, but it's going to pay off later. We could take Alchemize, but that has the opposite situation. The game gets harder, not easier, so... Yep! Risk reward. I'm glad I paid 6 max HP for that. Insert sarcasm. Oof. Oof, 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 oof. Ladoof. Yeah. Yeah. Sozu becomes like feels bad, man. If I if I have uh, upgraded alchemize. Aha! 
Got rid of your block, idiot. Ooh, fuck, wow. How about if we don't do any of that? Okay, bit of damage. Not terrible. Hmm. I did get like six extra damage out of this uh, thousand cuts here. Uh, you're just dead. You're just dead. Okay. Okay. Um, a little risky to take two powers like that this early, but I don't think we can afford to be choosy here. It's a pretty good floor one. Does three damage. So I'm saying twelve. Yeah, we're not gonna play that here. He puts him at eight. Good. Those are both multiples of four, which means when he weakens us, I can just like tell him to fuck off. Or if he doesn't weaken us, and we just have to play a bunch of block cards because they're both attacking, that works too. Because it's still blocked at all. So get bent. You there. Get bent. You there. He's gonna get bent. We're gonna bend him. This is my bending stick. You can tell. Because of how wiggly it is. I've, <laughs> I've hand wiggled it. <laughs> I bent it that way with my fists. Wow. Wow. Okay. We're either gonna go all the way or we're gonna die to like the f to fucking gremlin knob because our deck has too many fucking powers and not enough cards that stop us from dying in it. It's one or the other. It's one or the other. That's that's what I said. It's like, it's not just what cards you get, it's when you get them. It's like, these are all great cards, but grabbing them this fucking early is just like, I need... My deck doesn't attack or block very well. Yeah. 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 I have gained only powers <laughs> since the start of this run. They're like the three best powers I could possibly ask for, but... Do I even Noxious Fumes? Probably do. I could get some turns where I just like don't have good attacks to play, and then... Do I get more damage out of a strike? Probably not. He doesn't block at all. So I'm probably going to play at least five more cards. I'm playing a dangerous game. Please deal 7 damage now. That's 21, he's taking 4. Okay, and he's gonna take even more damage here. So he's essentially at 11. So he's essentially at 7, perfect. Okay, it all worked out. Hooray me! Ooh, that could have gone real dangerous real quick. All right, not, not gonna take the caltrops. I'm not. I'm just not gonna take it. You take caltrops when you like don't have noxious fumes. I'll take the dodge and roll. I would like some attacks, please. Some better attacks than these, please. We do not have many attacks in the deck. Do we just grab Impatience? And then... Play a defensive game with our powers? I'm gonna try it! I'm gonna try it! I'm gonna try it! We're losing our fu- <laughs> We're losing our runs anyway! I may as well try to learn something while that's happening. Now the real question is, what do I upgrade? Wait, what is this? Ooh. Ooh, -hoo. ooh! -hoo. I think I still upgrade neutralize. It's like I want to upgrade five different cards in this deck. Do we maybe just like skip the elite to? Because we've got some really good upgrade opportunities. Let's see how this fight goes. Okay, it's against one blady boy. We do have two potions. 
Ooh, yeah, that's a good one. I don't think I play it here, though. This might be too slow. Although it does hit him on the turn where he's uh, caught his block up. It's like he's gonna take... 2 damage next turn, 3 damage, turn after that. He'd have to block next turn for this not to deal more damage than the strike. If I weaken him, he goes down to 10. A thousand cuts defend. Just get a bit of extra damage in. Take a bit of extra damage myself. Increase the chances of him dying. Okay, good. So where you're getting more damage out of the uh hmm. what a great hand here. We're getting more damage out of the Nox Fumes than we would have out of the uh the stab. I think I know what I do here. Well, I think he got away. Um, hold up. Yeah, if I had gotten that other strike, we would have- hold up. Hey, fuck you. Give me my money. Oh, he actually stole all our money. Gimme, give gimme. Give That's probably why he started leaving. Ooh, man. Running this few attacks. I'm worried about Gremlin Knob. Cause like, you just- you, you can't block against that guy. You just will fucking lose. Do we just skip all elites? Just like take no fucking relics? That seems really risky. Or do we just hope we don't fight Gremlin Knob in in two elite fights? Or do we hedge our bets and take the Bane with only Noxious Fumes? It's, it's some decent damage with Noxious Fumes. I think, I think I'll take the Bane. Okay. 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 It was the knob. Eh. No powers opening hand. Not that I really want to play footwork. Over attacking, anyway. He just became poisoned. Perfect. Thousand cuts. Nice. Nice. It's already down to 39. He's walloping. He's in wallop mode. Oh boy, is he ever in wallop mode. I think I have to do this. Okay, so he's gonna try to make us vulnerable again next turn. That was exactly lethal. Because I was vulnerable. And he wasn't weakened. Fucking Gremlin Knob. Alright, alright, alright. What am I doing? Fucking get out of here. I fucked it up, didn't I? Just abandon this run. Just get out. Just go home. Go to bed. Go to sleep. No, not punching the bird. <laughs> Alright, do it again. Yep. Reach the boss. Cool. Good news. I'm leaving. <laughs> and then I'm coming back, and then I'm leaving again. And then I'm coming back, and you're giving me something. So... I think the game plan legit has to be... Just do a spiteful punch, it's a little late. I think the game plan has to be... Fuck it. Hope you don't fight Gremlin Knob. Like, play play your run as if Gremlin Knob isn't real, and then just be prepared to lose if you run into Gremlin Knob. Like... I feel like that's the best game plan for every run where you don't encounter Gremlin Knob. The problem is, you have a pretty decent chance of encountering Gremlin Knob. 
Because you have to skew your deck so fucking hard just to deal with them. A curse. Remember last time we did this and we got Dubu Doll and we, you know, died to Automaton? Uh, boy. Random Rare card's a lot worse than pick one of three. We've got like a 50 50 chance at getting something good. I mean, we kind of made the Thousand Cats work. We lost to Gremlin Knob more because, like, our deck had three powers and a Bane in it. And that was it. Okay, so we got. Fire, fire, man, man. So I can go fire, man, man. No. Fire, fire, man, man. Eh. Don't like that. Fire, 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 fire. Man, why couldn't I have gone? Why couldn't I have had this path last time? I would have just skipped all the elites, been like, upgrade the powers, upgrade, 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 upgrade. That's what I should have done. That's what I should have done. I should have taken the cloak and dagger, gone around the elite, and just been like, yep, see you later. We're just, we're just gonna, yep, 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 yep. Gotta recognize when a node has a 33% chance of just killing you instantly. Okay, so what do we got this way? We got man, fireman, fireman. And we can bail on the... Hmm, that's two bonfires, three dudes though. Man, fire, fireman. Well, again, we can make the decision there. It's got some flexibility to it. If we go for that guy, there's a shop there. There's also a shop here. I think I like this path better. Give me the HP. HP lets me live forever. You're two strikes away, you're one strike away. You're dead. Survive this man. Cool. A nice and simple floor one. Perfect. Just the way I like it. Take the knee. Flying knee. That's, that's a good one. That extra energy. Oh. Oh. So good. Uh, rest of his hand's not great. Mm. Didn't really need all that energy. Could've used it this turn. Oof. Oof. Okay, he's down to 10 though. Ooh, might not kill him next turn. Got him. Okay, we took like, what, 2 damage, 3 damage? It's like flying me plus concentrate is a lot of energy. Need the card draw to make it work. I think we take the footwork for now. Cause you gotta you gotta grab opportunities when they come to you. Okay, footwork should help for the rest of the fight. Oh, cause he likes to get buffs. I mean we all like to get buffs. Who doesn't like to get buffs? a lot of damage. Oh, so says the Swiftman. Philip J. Swift. Oh, he's dead. Cool. Okay. Um, footwork seems pretty good, especially with the vulnerable. Yeah, we're gonna go for stabbing this guy. He's gonna make us weak, that's fine. He doesn't scale, so I'm not afraid of that man. Weak is gonna slow us down on, on the rat boy, but that's not that big a deal. 
Ooh, um, okay. It's suddenly a medium-sized deal. It's fine. Cool. He's not attacking us for the first turn of Vulnerable. We've got two Dexterity, so we should be able to handle whatever baloney he throws at us. Boom. Baloney handled. Mischief managed. And then you just, like, sneeze into the map and close it up. Save it for later. <laughs> You're dead! You're dead, Slime Tony. See? This is a good card. I like this card. Oh, we've got a lot of things that aren't attacks in our deck. Are we praying for no Tony? Or are we skipping him? We've got way more H HP this time. We can take- or not Tony, Gremlin Nub. Are we praying for no Tony? Oh, please no Tony. How good is Discovery Plus? It seems like it might be like really good. Can get you what you need. One of three random cards, it costs zero. So you can definitely, basically get an energy discount from it. I have other cards that would also like upgrading though. What if I go triple bonfire into a single elite? It's also Vajra. Vajra's good. But is it that good? <sighs> it's like the highest win rate common relic, if I recall. There's also some good stuff up here. Some good stuff going up right in the middle here. Thousand Rule's really good with footwork. Sucker Punch is really good in general. This is our only chance to grab a Vajra. It's exactly the amount of gold we have. Seems like a sign. Our deck's not bad, except against Gremlin Knob. I think Vajra probably, probably adds the most value. Going for it. Okay. Three amigos. He'll be weak next turn. Okay. Might use this essence of steel here. Yeah, we'll prevent some damage. Essence of Steel is already getting us there. I don't have a third attack though, that's fine. So Essence of Steel actually didn't. Essence of Steel so far only blocked four. I will get fucked. Now block seven damage. Shit. Oh, now it's gonna block nine damage total. So it looks like we're gonna get ten block out of it, which it's not bad. Uh, apply it to this one. So that way he's weak next turn. We actually didn't get the full ten out of it yet, since we already had enough block. Same here. Still, 9 block. It's not bad. Especially since it's spread across multiple turns. 
Mmm, gross. Well, now we've got it. Now we got the 9th block. We were at, what, like 60 when we started? So we definitely... ...been smacked around a bit. Okay. One lone sentry. Should be fine. Cool. Cool. Them dazes, I tell you what. I was like, wow, he's still has his artifact intact. Interesting. Well, applying weak for two turns doesn't even really do anything against one of these guys. Took 20 damage from the final fucking sentry. That's. That's really cool. That's the coolest. At least I haven't gone to the chest yet. I think we upgrade and fight another elite. And then see how it goes. Can't take Bane. Footwork's upgrade is really bad against Gremlin Knob. There's a 50 50 chance that the next guy is Gremlin Knob. Maybe I shouldn't have gone this way now that I'm thinking about the math. The math makes me frightened. Frightened of math. Yep. Uh, yep. Yeah, that's, uh, that's 100% mathematical. The math did it all. Raggle Paggle Fraggle to you too. I'll just, uh, lay down and let him kill me. A block. It's gonna get him, like, five damage. He's gonna do a big hit again next turn. There's no way in fuck I can kill him next turn. So I gotta, I gotta just do this. Weakness. Okay. Woo. Woo, woo, woo. I'm slowly taking three damage. Okay, okay, we've got something. Fuck, that's still 12 damage. Are you joking? Do I actually, I actually... I kind of don't want to draw cards. Hold up. I do 14 damage to him now. Hold up. There is 20 damage there. So if I draw Flying Knee and strike this turn, a Flying Knee now, he goes down to 7. Next turn I just have a strike and then whatever other random cards. Which means he might not. Oh, fuck. Oh! Shit, right. Fucking Gremlin Knob. I shouldn't have done it. I shouldn't have done it. I should have realized that there's a 50 50 chance on Gremlin Knob. I'm gonna refill my water.
flips the knob. He's the guy. If we're gonna die in Act 1, it's gonna be to Gremlin Knob. Or occasionally to Lagavulin. And very, very rarely... Well, I guess Slime Tony can also dunk us. But I haven't seen Slime Tony that much. Unsilent. Aloha. Yeah, yeah, you did bring me back. Apparently. That's the that's the lore. That's the hashtag real lore. But, uh... I think I brought me back. I think I decided to throw myself to this pack of wolves once more. <sighs> I shouldn't have gone that way. That's the real lesson. Fuck. Random rare card! Or are we taking a gamble on our relic? Like, every path has three dudes on it. Um, so this gives us some options. So go... Man, fire, man, fire with a late shop. That's okay. Or I can go... Fire, fire, man, man. Fire, fire, man, fire. Man, fire, fire, man. Shop. Choose- ooh, yeah, I like that. I like that. Yeah. Yeah, that's the one I like. I can see early shop. Check some shit out. Okay, that one's reasonable. I can dig that one. I can indeed dig it. Discard all non-attack cards. Cool. Oh, Ascender's Bane. Damn it. That is a non-attack card, isn't it? That card does not attack. It does does no damage. Damn it. I'm hoping to see it again. Ah, I gotta take one damage here. It could matter. Remember, no, remember when we, we died exactly to Gremlin Knob? And if we had one more health, we would've lived? This is This is exactly how that one health could matter. Okay. I can't kill anything with this hand. He's going to weaken me, which means I should do this. Skip. Well, that sucks. A big fat load. Seven damage on floor two. It's peachy. It's just peachy. Oh, hey! That works for Sneaky Strike. Didn't even think about that. Mmm, synergies. Mm. Yeah, give me more damage. Give me just, just, just let me fuck some dudes up. Fuck them up. Um, hmm, Antagony's not super great here. Neither is Sneaky Streaky. Knocking him down to 12. They both lose 2 damage on their thing. So now they're dealing 12 damage. So I'm gonna triple block and then just punch this idiot. Okay. Seems good, seems good. Mmm. Alright. So I do this. I do that. Kill you. Okay, okay. Wait, what's our boss? Slime Tony, the most dangerous man. Well, yeah, I think we're trying to alpha strike here. So, I think I take the backstab. Concentrate plus well laid plans. Try to do some shenanigans. There's a good chance that was a mistake because it dilutes our deck. 
doesn't block or deal damage for us. But I want to see. I want to see. I'm only down by 15 HP. Regret seems bad. Let's just take the health. Okay, big boy. I've got a fucking present for you. Well, that doesn't do anything here. Yeah, I'm gonna need more card draw to make use out of that. Um, do we play both of these? Also, do we drink this liquid bronze? <sighs> liquid bronze is decent. Well, I don't know, it's not that good on Slime Tony. He takes three turns to do like one big attack. Can make the splits weird. Yeah, it's probably better here than anywhere else in this act. So we're gonna... It's gonna be between like two and four turns before I see one or both of these again. When I do though, it's gonna deal a lot of damage. You do four damage now or eight damage later. Locking him down to 36. Take a while to kill him. I can just pass. So we have a problem. Well, I guess we don't really have a problem. I was like, to, to discard, we have to play Survivor. But given the cards in my hand, I'll just uh, I'll just play the sneaky strike as is and pass. Sure, keep Survivor. Take twenty-four. I'll feel real sad. Um, this is pretty bad. So, he's gotta die next turn. I'm starting to wish I'd played those uh, Endless Agonies. Cool. Turns out, he's already dead. Wow. You actually fucking beat a gremlin knob. Okay, I need to really be paying attention to how my deck is here. I don't think we pick up any of these. Unload plus eviscerate. Concentrate. Eviscerate. I'm gonna try it. I'm just gonna try it. I have to. I have to see. I have to learn. I have to try. Steroid potion plus eviscerate. Does It does what? Six damage three times? Or I could deal like 33 damage. It's pretty gross. Rip. RIP! 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 I can't buy anything. This sucks. <sighs> I do look dangerous, don't I? Wait, were there three fucking shops and I didn't even realize it? Oh damn. What's in the box? Remember when we got Matryoshka and then died before we opened a single treasure chest? That was cool. I got a... Uh... Upgrading this concentrate wouldn't be bad. So, it can't be Gremlin Knob, which means there's only a 50-50 that upgrading this neutralizes is any good. Whereas... Upgrading this Backstab might actually not be great against Lag of Vulin, just because we might not want to wake him up turn one. I think we upgrade unload. Four extra damage. It's a lot of damage. Woof. Woof, 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 woof. Woof. Um, we might still actually just drink the potion and play it. Because we have five energy. And it's like 33 damage. 44 damage. 60 damage. Although... That would probably be better spent against Slime Tony. Fuck, man. I'm not getting this 5 energy back either. Ah, uh, why couldn't there have been, like, an unload? And then, like... 
I don't know, just like two defends or something. Unload, get rid of two cards. Make Sneaky Strike free. Make Eviscerate cost two. <sighs> this hand would have been incredible. But we got two cards that need discard synergy and no discard synergy. Five fucking energy though. Do I save the Eviscerate? Hold up. This is 18 damage for four. This is 10 damage for two. So for four energy, I can deal 22 damage instead. And I can still spend a fifth in it. Yeah, yeah, we're gonna just wake him up like this. Wake up, bitch! 82 still a really good wake up. Um, I can't save these because of his minus two, minus two. I actually just have to do eight damage, like, right now. The minus two, minus two hits those so hard. Mmm. Alright, hold up, hold up. What would I do with that much extra energy? Nothing. <laughs> Without three extra cards in my hand, I can't use that energy at all. That sucks. Okay. Mm. Actually, doesn't really matter that I do it like that, but... Down to 25, but we're at minus 2, minus 2, and we've got, like, no scaling. Oh! Yeah, you know what? I realize I can't even fucking play this card most of the time. I'm on... Right. Right. And when you're right, you're right. Did I need to drink that potion there? You're at 19. No, he'd have one health left. Lag of Ulin. Yeah, we shouldn't have taken this eviscerate. It didn't even dawn on me, because last time we took it, we had four energy because of ectoplasm. That's like here. I was like, I legit can't even play the fucking card. Unless I've got so much discard. Wow, we are not even making it out of Act 1 today. I don't think we've... Have we made it out of Act 1? We started the stream with a run that was already in Act 2. But I don't know if we we have actually made it out of Act 1 yet. Yikes. Let's look at the paths first. Fireman, fire. Fireman. Three fires, two dudes, not bad. Two fires. Two dudes, it's also not bad. Wait, no, that's that's worse. Three fires, two dudes is better. No fireman. Nope. And what about this way? Fireman, shop. Fire shop, man. There's two fires, two dudes, and a shop. There's no shop this way. Go back to ABC methods. Well, see, that's the thing, though, is... I have to gain more knowledge with which to consider. Which is what I'm doing now. Because, like, a lot of these cards, it's like... I don't have enough information to accurately consider them. So that's kind of what I'm doing here. It's, um, I don't know if you've ever read David Serlin's uh, Playing to Win, but he talks about the difference between playing to win and playing to learn. And playing to win is like you, you take the best strategy that you're aware of and you just go ham on that. And... That's the way, in the short term, to have the highest win rate. In the long term, you don't want to do that all the time, though. Because if you're taking the best, the, the, the uh, most apparent best strategy without experimenting at all, then you're never going to find out if there's actually a better strategy. Um, 
So over a longer period of time, your overall win rate is going to be lower than somebody who actually, like... And he explains it as, like, peaks. Like, this strategy, it has, you know, the more and more you practice this strategy, the higher you go up this peak. And, like, once you hit the top, the you know, the top of the peak is only so high. Um, and you have to go, you have to dip down into valleys to find other peaks and find out whether or not those peaks are higher. So right now we're in Valley Town. <laughs> Um, wait, what was it? Yeah, I want to go this way. So I get a fire before a dude. Which means I'm probably fine with a common relic. Boot. I can dig the boot. Uh, works really good if we get some shivs. Works good with neutralize. Neuterize. Great when I draw almost every defend in my deck. That's, that's my favorite. Because when that happens... Alright, that's fine. Not gonna complain too bad about one damage. Yep, for science. Still frail, that's fine. Because we don't have anything better to spend our energy on other than one block anyway. Okay. One damage for one. Ghost in a jar. So we do have to fight two elites. Which means we have to worry about Gremlin Knob. Which means I have to take that poison stab. A bird. Got four damage out of that boot so far. So he's essentially at 11. Mm -hmm. Should be able to kill him next turn, I think. Likely. Even neutralize will do it. Thanks, boot. Wow. Those are some powerful defensive uh, options. Now, I did just say that boot makes these better, but... I think we gotta go ham. Go ham on the man. Like, the other option, besides just, like, going all out and ignoring the possibility of Gremlin Knob, is playing super towards aggressively towards fighting Gremlin Knob, and then just praying to Jesus we get a bunch of good defensive cards <laughs> right afterwards, which I think has been the, the game plan so far, and it's, like, not gone super duper well. We've made it to the Act 2 boss a number of times. Every time it's been Automaton. Automaton. Uh, he's dead, right? Yeah, he's dead. He's the deadest dude. Thanks, boot. Like, Predator, this is the kind of card that draws cards that I want with cards like Concentrate. Because it actually does something else. How much damage does uh, Compile Driver do? It does like 10 damage, doesn't it? Damn, Compile Driver is such a good fucking card. Mm. Well, there's no shop on our path. I'm going to lose the gold. The HP is more valuable to me. Wow! Oh, fighting one of these dudes by themselves as your first fight past the first three floors is already bad. Kinda wanna just smoke bomb, like see ya. Opens up a, a slot. Cause there's no way we're not gonna take a bunch of fucking damage here. I can at least play until we would take, start taking damage, I guess. We might be fine. And I'm weakened. Not frail though. Can't play attacks next turn. Yeah, 
Yeah. We're just bouncing. We are just gonna bounce. Okay, good. We get a card upgrade. Yeah, neutralizes the one. What do we got? Okay, Lagavulin. Predator wakes him up. Yeah, this seems like a decent turn to wake him up. 96 is not a great wake up. Ooh. Don't think I want to ghost here just because he's uh, weakened. I can ghost for more damage later. I was going to be really mad if I got rid of the Ascender's Bane and then we had to draw it again later. Hmm. Okay, I guess we're blocking. That's fine. Okay. I guess it doesn't matter which card this gets rid of. Okay, we're up against Hexaghost. I might want to save Ghost in the Jar for that. Because he's got some big moves. Predator is also really good against Lagavulin. Anything with big numbers on it is usually pretty good against Lagavulin. Unless it has those numbers multiple times. Because 15 to 13 is not nearly as bad as 6 to 4. I'm gonna drink it. And then he's dead AF. See you later. Thanks, Boot! Boot getting us 3 extra damage. Or a Chalcom. Very worth. Do I take a second Predator? It's like if you can get Predators and a bunch of Flying Knees as your main offense, you can go pretty nuts. I think I'm gonna take another Predator. I'm not gonna nap here. Ooh, 20 damage. Although 14 damage to everybody. Um, we do not have... We got a 50-50 chance of having to fight multiple dudes in the next elite fight. 4 damage for 1 energy versus 5 damage for 2. Yeah, I think it's all out attack. Ooh, excuse me. What's in the box? Might, might end up being worth it. Hmm. Oh, give me that all out attack. Yeah. Um, hold up. So you're gonna die, so I probably wanna play this. And then I wanna play this. And then the rest doesn't matter. You have, you collectively have five health, so... And the boot's gonna give me the extra damage. Sucker Punch is pretty good. Although our attacks are good. We got some good attacks this time. I think I'm gonna take the thousand cuts. We're going for it, we're going for it, we're pushing. Shit. Thousand cuts! I mean, not thousand cuts, fucking... All out attack, where are you? Where are you all out attack? I need you. I am gonna get frailed. No. Uh, boot is only unblocked attack damage. Thousand cuts is not attack damage. Because it's not attack. It really had to have two of these assholes. <sighs> cool. Alright, I get to take 10, or not 10, 5. I'm frail and weak. The good news. Oh shit. Mmm, might not 1000 cuts here then. Hold up, if 1000 cuts, that's 1, 2. 14, that's 17 damage. It's exactly lethal here. I have to all out attack first. Otherwise, the thousand cuts will knock off his shield and make him deal extra damage. And it discarded the neutralize. I didn't think about that. We board Chalcom for times like this. Yep, 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 yep. Could have killed him. Take zero damage. Take zero damage. Instead, I took four damage. That's cool. That's really cool. That's the coolest thing. 
Chalcum blocks all the damage. Didn't need to block it at all. Fuck. Man, that pissed me off. Ooh. Um, Thousand Cuts does damage. Thousand Cuts does damage. I think footwork's more important here. Hmm. Uh, no potions. I do have more Chalcum though, which will actually help a lot. Suddenly, suddenly wishing I'd taken the, uh, the other card. The, uh, Noxious Fumes. Okay, we're still good, we're still good. He's weak, we're dealing extra damage, and I've got our Chalcum blocking for me. Wow! Ooh! Ooh, we beat Gremlin on We got a good prize out of it. We got a good prize. Uh, we are against Hexagos. Do I take the Caltrops? I don't think so. I think we want to try to build around Thousand Cuts. Uh, a single Piercing Whale is not bad, though. Again, especially against Hexagos. Um, do we just scream at him now? We could. Oh, right, the weakness makes the math weird. Fine, I'll take three. Oh, I won't take any! Or a Chalcom, bitch. Or a Chalcom, bitch. 15 plus 14 is 29, so you're just, you just lose. You're dead. Goodbye. Problem with Sneaky Strike All Out Attack is like... Sometimes you all-out attack away the sneaky strike, and then you feel sad. I don't think I take anything. I think I want cloak and daggers. Cause thousand cuts. Yeah. Um, I have a block potion and a poison potion. Yeah, I think I upgrade the footwork here. And then fight the big man. Thousand Cuts is pretty good here. Thousand Cuts into Footwork. Into Neutralize. I'm gonna use this just so we've got a potion slot open. And it might help out a bit. Uh, did we see Piercing Whale in that hand? We didn't. No, we don't see Piercing Whale in this hand. Really? Really? I think I'm okay taking six damage. So just like stabbing him a bunch. I think I'm okay with that. Thanks, Lord Chalcom. You are a pal. Um... Yeah. Let's just, uh, hit him really hard. And let Lord Chalcom carry us. We can deal zero damage. I could probably strike an all-out attack over using Predator. Yeah, it's better damage. Now, if we could see a Tingsha or a Tough Bandages, we'd be in a good position. Oh, I've got nothing else to spend the energy on, so I suppose I may as well do it like this. We'll take a bit of damage. Still have a block potion for when he goes ape shit. Keeping the poison up, which is nice. Oh my god. This turn and next turn to really give it to him. He is out putting quite a bit of damage. 12, that's 14. I don't think we're gonna kill him before the big attack, so I think I may as well just try to prevent damage here. Thanks, Boot. Boot gave us one damage. He had two block, hit him for six, which means four got upgraded to five. Okay, I miscounted. So we had one more turn, still. 
Um, I think I have to play the defend again just to not take the burn damage. Then I hope all out attack gets rid of the burn. Didn't really matter, but. It's pretty obvious we discard that one. Okay. It's pretty good. Blocked almost all of it, only taking five here. He's putting a big bunch of burn pluses in the deck. And he's stronger. So that's what it's like. Six plus five. Hold up. Let's do this smartly. There we go. Now he's just dead. Okay. Okay. We made it through Act 1. Thank God. A double thousand cuts. Oh, whoa. Oh, 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 oh. Oh, oh, oh. Oh, ah. Yeah. Oh, a thousand cuts plus Storm of Steel. On top of, like, a double Predator turn or something. If I get a, a fourth energy. It would be pretty funny. But no, take the other thousand cuts. Ooh, ooh, I can't, I can't take that kite. I can't take it. I think we take the astrolabe and like transform three strikes, because defends are a lot better when you have a footwork in your deck. Okay. 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 Alright. Again, if we pick up like a Shuriken or a Kunai, Storm of Steel becomes way better. Because then you can just be like, oh, I don't have three attacks in my hands and I wish I did. And then you just go, Wah! And you roll through them. Tools of the Trade Plus is pretty nice. Choke Plus. It's really going to depend on. What we get for cards. I was gonna say it's gonna depend on whether or not we get an energy relic, and then I realized we just got that choke plus with a non energy relic, so fuck me. Ah, <sighs> no energy for me. Okay, so Thousand Cuts really does work on Gremlin Leader. We got a Footwork Plus and a Piercing Wheel. We need more block cards before I feel really confident about Gremlin Leader. Um, stab hand. I think we probably get hurt by stab hand, but I think we can handle him. Slavers might just kill us. It's gonna really depend. We don't have an energy relic. If we had four energy, I'd feel a lot better about slavers. But it's like thousand cuts eats up most of our turn. Might not even play it in that fight. What's our boss? I actually feel pretty good about this guy, about fighting this guy. Uh, I think we're dodging elites, this act. So, let's see, where do we go? There's a fire. Two fires, zero elites. It's not great. Can we get three fires, one elite somewhere? No, looks like going for elites means fewer fires. So fuck that. Do we want an early shot? Probably. Probably get over 300 gold by the time we hit it. And there's no other shop that we're likely to hit this axe, so... Let's do it to it. Two of them are hitting me. Ooh, boot cuts through their stupid flight baloney. I don't need... Yeah, Orchalcum takes care of this, so I can just hit him like that. Mmm. Mmm. Strike and Shiv do the same amount of damage. It's upgraded Shiv because of their flight and the boot. I can Storm of Steel knock this guy down. One, two, three, four. Oh, this also gets rid of another card. 
So like it gets rid of two, one, two, three, four, leaves me with four. Still only lets me knock down one dude, but it does do more damage. And there's a small chance that it hits Storm of Steel and then I cry. Good. So you get on the ground. Um... He's about to become unweak. So just finish off this bird in the back. He's probably buffing next turn. Yeah. I'll deal with him, because he'll still hit me for like three damage or whatever. I'd rather not have to deal with him and him. Okay, now you're both attacking. That's cool. I'm gonna scream now. Worked out pretty well, I guess. Just waiting for this idiot to buff. Wow, I really should have hit this guy. Um, if I choke... I think this bit is not attack damage. That's a debuff that choke puts on. So if I choke, it does 6 damage. That'll deal 5 damage plus 5. So that deals 16 damage. Then if I play one more card, it does 21 damage. Which will kill him. Yeah. Cool! And kill this loser who hasn't buffed once. Let's just knock him out of the sky. See you later. Knock him out of this life. Knock him out of this world. Knock him into the grave. Okay. I think I said a thing about wanting good block cards. Give me that flip. <sighs> Fumes is more damage. Cloak and Dagger is also more damage. We probably don't need Pantograph. Because we're not fighting elites in this act anyway. Bottled Flame. If I had, uh, if I had like a Lantern or tea set Bottled Flame might be worth putting on Choke. Because then a lot of our fights we can open with a lot of damage, but... Hmm. I think we definitely take the Cloak and Dagger. It's also an argument to be made for Apotheosis. Apotheosis makes our whole deck way better. <laughs> I can afford Apotheosis and Cloak and Dagger. I think that's probably my best bet. Or do we do we just remove Choke? We could also remove Choke. I don't think Choke's that bad. It's also not great. It oftentimes does like 17 damage. With n nothing else. 17 damage with nothing else attached for 2 energy is not great. I'd rather the 15 damage and draw 2 extra cards next turn. Sneaky? I wouldn't say it's free most of the time. I only have two cards to discard. Well, okay, I guess there's tools of the trade. But I have to draw into tools of the trade first. <sighs> Problem is you have to be concerned about like the order you might draw cards in. Like, Storm of Steel technically also discards cards. 
But since it'll discard the sneaky strike, it doesn't really work there. Yeah, it's not- it, there's all-out attack and there's survivor as well. It's also a common. I think we have to take Apotheosis here. I could still take Sneaky Strike. But I think at this point I'd prefer Block. We've got some decent damage already. I don't think I need Sneaky Strike. And Cloak and Dagger does double do- we have 2,000 cuts. Which makes Cloak and Dagger that much better. So I think I'd take it. Like, with both 1,000 cuts up, Cloak and Dagger does... Like... 11 damage? Because of the boot? And, you know, with footwork up, it's like... Gain 9 block, deal 11 damage. If we have- if we've played Apotheosis, it's like... It's even more. It's like 16 damage. 11 block. It's pretty gross for 1 energy. Beats the pants off a dash. Admittedly, that's once we get stuff up and running, which is difficult to do, considering our energy constraints. That is an Apotheosis in our hand right now. I think this card needs to be upgraded before anything else. Upgrade that, and then we almost don't even need to upgrade other cards, because, well, Apotheosis already does that. Apotheosis, then all-out attack. Take 22. Well, for not upgrading many cards, we can afford some naps, although we've only got two bonfires. Although I can skip a lot of fights. Oh, not 22. Thanks, Lord Chalcom. Putting in lots of work, as usual. Play it safe. I had Orchalcom, I'm an idiot. I could have just stabbed him. Wow, he's already leaving. Not today, bitch. I do not have thousand cuts up. He's gonna get away. Damn! 38. I can deal 29. Just like collapse his brain. And he got away. He only hit me, what, once? Twice? Took all my gold. Well, we weren't planning on seeing a shop this act anyway. Yeah, I think I want more defensive stuff. I don't think I'd take anything here. Double Predator. Double Choke. Deal 24 damage. Every time I play a card, they lose 10 health. 34 damage. Is it worth the 18 HP, though? Go down to 30. I really want to upgrade cards. I think I'm going to pass. Wait, why, did, why the fuck did I play that instead of a strike? Ah, they both deal 5 damage against this guy anyway. I guess that's why. Yeah, I got 1 extra damage out of 1,000 cuts. There you go. I was, I was secretly thinking. It's gonna deal 7 damage. He's buffing though, so I don't know if I care that much. Do I take 6? There's a lot of damage to this guy. Yeah, I think I do. Um, hold up. Seven plus seven. I'm not worried that much. I think I have to hit this guy here. Especially since he's taking damage from the uh, thousand cuts as well. So is this where you make me vulnerable? Yep. Woo. Oh boy. That's, uh, hmm. 
That's a lot of shit. Wow, I kind of wish I dealt seven more damage to this guy, because then he would, uh... Play like footwork and double defend, or defend and survivor, he just died a thousand cuts right now. Oh boy. Yeah, I should have paid attention to the fact that he was, uh... Making me vuln. Again, 16 block. Take 37 damage. Go down to 5. No, more than 16 block. 19 block. Go down to 8. Oh, wow. Could have gone down to 30. Let's punch this guy instead. That's a, that's a capital Y. Yikes. Yikes. Oh. Thank you, Jesus. Okay. Buffs himself. I think we scream? Screaming seems good here. Screaming and blocking? Yeah. What do we do with our last energy? Block again? I guess. Don't really need to. In fact, I probably shouldn't because dazes. Dazes are for real. Daisies are forever. Mmm. Yeah, I could have had 22 more health right here. Instead, I die. I die to the bird boy, as usual. Oh, wait a minute. Eh, it doesn't matter. Fuck, man. Wasn't even an elite. Was not even an elite. Okay. So, kill the bird. Gotta kill that bird. Gotta pay more attention to what the other enemy is doing. Yeah, should have realized that he was gonna vulnerable us, and that if I didn't deal that 7 damage to that bird... Because a lot of times that bird doesn't do much. He, like, just wastes a few turns as you try to kill the bird instead of the guy in the back. But here I was like, well, let's just ignore the bird a bit and deal with the guy in the back. And then it's like, oh. 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 And then he dunked me. Dunked me real good. Okay. So... Where do we go? What are our options? Upgrade or 100 gold? 100 gold's not bad because there's a shop right there. Where are the good paths? Fire, man, man, fire. Mm. Fire, man, fire. Fire, fire, man, man. Fire, fire, man, fire. Oh wait, no, this is fire man fire. I'd like to have two elites. Well, I guess I guess I do have some paths with two elites and two bonfires. Bonfires are all just like clumped at one end though. No, oh, fire man man fire. I actually can't even take that path. Well, I can take this path. I'm gonna take the hundred gold and go this way. I'm feeling fat. And sassy. Yeah. Well, thank you for the follow, Isha Dasalia. I hope you're feeling fat and sassy. So we've got a higher chance of getting some good, juicy beans out of our first shop. Get that extra hundred gold. This is a bad turn. My favorite kind. Favorite kind of turn are the bad ones. Oh! Well, that's a hand. I mentioned how much I love fighting Jawworm. The silent. It's just like, mmm. Mmm. 
Mmm. Wow. Twenty-two damage. Those are some big numbers. Got them all by yourself, too. We have taken twenty-three damage. We've taken twenty-three damage. Against Jawworm. Can you tell I'm disillusioned with this stupid, nigh faceless, scrumpy little fuck? Fucking magical. Uh, don't even get a dagger throw to kill the little wiener with. Fine. Kill him with double strike. Champ champ. Just like Street Fighter 3. Third punch or whatever the fuck. Ah. Hmm. Okay, fine. Fine, I'll play it your way. <laughs> Stupid frail. Okay, then we have a chance of drawing it. We did draw it, hooray. Cool. Excuse me. Deflect is pretty bad against Gremlin Knob. Gremlin Knob is pretty good at just fucking killing us. Terror can be alright. What's our boss? Slime Tony. The worst boss for Terror. Like, this is another card that I just have no idea how to evaluate. What a card from your hand on top of your draw pile. It costs zero until played. Seems like it could be really good. I'm gonna take the deflect. Puts him down to seven, that puts him down to five. He's the one buffing. Wait, I can't do math. Puts him down to four and two. I was thinking he was dealing six damage for some reason. For some reason, my Brian was stupid. Okay, that's fine. It all works. It all twerks. Lucky we haven't taken any damage in like the last three fights. How good even is Doppelganger? Damn it! I really wish we could have afforded that toxic egg. Um. Hand of greed. Yeah, I don't. Th that's that's way too greedy. Greedy for Ascension 19. Okay. Sure is some damage you're doing back there. Guess we'll try to kill him first. That's a pretty good one. No, I think I'd rather stab him. Okay, a little bit of damage, it's fine-ish, another punch for the sucker, two attacks just barely doesn't kill this guy, I have one gold, mm, okay, mm, yeah, I may have made some bad decisions, in that shop. 
and in this fight. Yeah. You just never get- you have to be already winning to ever even play Doppelganger. Cause it doesn't do anything. Basically lets you shift your resources from now until later. But it's like, there. it's- you gotta be winning really hard be able to afford to do that a lot of the time. And winning really hard is not something that comes easy on Ascension 19. Not with the silent. It can You can do it with defect and with ironclad, but... I got a bad feeling. I got a bad feeling about this. We're going to double elite. Uh. Play it, thank you. We might do okay against Gremlin Knob. Depends on how much health we're gonna have, though. I actually get to play Doppelganger, cool. Sick. Um, yeah, that's fine. Such a fucking dumbass! I had lethal! I could've just killed him. Oh my god. Yeah. Yeah, I can tell- well, one, I feel it, and two, I can tell just cause of the way I'm playing. I am still so fucking tired from last week. Just the residual sleepiness from the midnight launch. It's just like, I have not caught up. I have not caught up at all. If I don't nap, we just lose going that way. <sighs> so I don't get to upgrade neutralize, which is kind of okay. Oh, Darkstone Perry apt again. Almost does nothing. It's like, with if you... If you get one curse, and make your deck worse, this still gives you less health than a strawberry. If you get two curses, making your deck- Like, if you get two curses, this is probably about as good as a strawberry. You get five extra health. No, I don't think five health is worth two curses. Fuck, Dark Zone Periapt is bad. Like, if you have Duvu Doll, and you can make it work, then sure, but- Otherwise, I think it's a bad card. I think it's a bad relic. It's one of the bad- why am I hitting him? Well, it's too late now. Take two damage to try and make next turn better. Maybe I can steroid potion and burst someone down. Steroid potion anyway, just because of the dagger spray. Does a ton of damage here. Okay, good. He's dead. <sighs> yeah, that was worth it. Ah, flying knee. I was like, how did I have... Extra energy this turn. I played Doppelganger two turns ago. Mm, magnificent. I'm gonna play it safe, because there's a chance that I just draw like a bajillion dazes next turn, and he actually gets to hit me. Nope. Cool. Okay. That fight went really well. That's a good one. Man! Part of me, some small part of my brain is like, grab the skewer, and then just pray. Just pray that you get, uh, Chemical X <laughs> to work with your doppelganger. We're up against, uh, Hexaghost, right? No, we're up against Slime Tony. Skewer's pretty good. For splitting slime, Tony. I'm gonna take it. Oh fuck me! 
Skier's not great in this fight. Ay, 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 ay. Okay, so how do I want to do this? Neutralize him down. Strike, strike that fool. Yeah. Okay. Already killed two of them. Gotta take six. Hmm. I've realized I may have been an idiot. I may have been a fool. Kill one of you, piercing whale. Take zero damage. Okay. Yeah, I may have been able to uh, get away with no damage there. Just skewer the shit out of him. Perfect. None of these, please. Okay, we lost a little bit of health. That frail is going to be rough. We've got an explosive potion, we've got a speed potion. Still got. hmm. Okay. Okay. How do I want to do this? Lock you down to seven. Could just play everything. Seems reasonable. Keep him weak for the next couple of turns. Because he's probably going to be hitting me, which he is. We're no longer frail. But he's also got 9 block, which kind of makes me want to hit the other guy. Sure. Makes some sense, right? Deflect is decent here. Yep, just blind this one. Alright, you have a good night, Live High. Oh shit, yeah, I didn't even re look at the time. It's already past three. I think we'll make it up to the boss, and then, uh... Yeah, I'll probably call it a night. So he's already weakened. No longer frail. But I don't have any other block. Or such, in my hand. This going poorly. Good news is you're dead. Hmm. Yeah, having skewer and doppelganger in hand at the same time is kind of a kind of annoying. I started this fight at what, 33 health? Fuck off. Good. Yeah, I don't think we're making it past the next elite. Um, what was our last elite? It was the three amigos, right? So we got a 50-50 Gremlin knob, Lagavulin. And we still have another fight to do. I think I think I can take a dodge and roll. One thiefy boy. Okay, let's weaken him. Let's weaken him. Yeah, I don't think I want to take more damage here. If I don't really have to. Oh. Looks like I kinda have to. Not close enough for an explosive potion. Wow, there's a... Uh, there's a whole bunch of block and baloney that... Uh, so he's gonna gain, like, way too much block. And then he's going to get the fuck away with like 40 of my gold. Wow. That was a good. That was a good fight. Took eight damage. Lost 40 gold. Got a well-laid plans. Don't think that's worth it. Don't think that's worth it. Um, this seems a decent wake-up turn. 
Neutralize isn't even upgraded yet. There's a Sucker Punch in my hand, though. And a Blind coming up into Skewer. I think we're probably just gonna die to him, though. Get up, bitch. Oh boy! Alright, let's take the Crab Man to town. To crab Town. King 13 block. Or do 28 damage and then fucking die. Um, I could also use a speed potion. Uh, let's do this first. Uh, I think I have to take the two damage. So if I don't kill him very quickly, then we lose. And I think we've just lost. I think we just lost anyway. Yep. Alright. Well, that was a good run. There's some good runs there, ladies and gentlemen. But I'm tired as fuck. I'm going to bed. Thanks for joining me. If you liked what you saw, feel free to follow both here on Twitch as well as the various social media and video hosting platforms linked down below. Next stream is tomorrow night from 1am to 3am Pacific Standard Time. If you don't know what time that is in your time zone, that is approximately 21 hours and 38 minutes from right now. As Live High uh, posted in chat, we have a community Discord that you are free and welcome to join. Uh, it's mostly shit posting and guffawing and, you know, slapping each other's titties and shit like that. But we goof around. Uh, you know, I make any announcements, uh, just like a channel for suggestions and stuff for the stream, that sort of thing. Um, yeah. You can also watch all previous streams, uh, both here on Twitch as well as on YouTube and BitChute. I upload everything I stream to both of those places. And anyway, you all, until next time, you all have a good night.